You open the door and, and look in. The room is dimly lit with one guttering oil lamp, and there's just, like, clothes and stuff strewn all over. And the, the faint cinnamon smell from outside is now actually quite strong, and there's a sort of an acrid burning undertone, kind of like plastic burning. Um, and you don't, you don't see Vex. He's not in the room. Um, AAA. You're examining this book that you have. Would you uh, make an intellect defense roll for me, please? All right. Okay. Um, you go through the book, and you're sort of flipping through to see what the various chapters contain. You get to the same pages containing these mazes scrawled all over, like five or six pages front and back. I um, remember see, like, Pocket talking about these. You see, like, the red dot on one of the pages. Um, and like... Like Pocket, you sort of feel a little bit of um, sort of a strange attraction to these mazes. You feel like maybe there's some sort of unmentioned significance hidden within the structure of the maze. Um, and then, you, you know, you flip on and you keep going and you look, uh, you look through the rest of the book. Um, you read um, a couple of interesting paragraphs on um, how memory is encoded in various creatures and how some creatures have adopted pieces of the Numenera to expand their, their memory c capabilities. And actually, there's, there's one segment of the book that catches your eye dramatically, which talks about um, how it, is, it was apparently possible at one point in history to craft Numenera devices that could be slotted into special sockets driven into the brain to dramatically enhance memory capabilities, both in recall and in storage. And you, you notice this because some of the diagrams that were uh, written here um, end up looking like some of the diagrams that you actually followed in the integration of your own ports and plugs. SSDs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else that I learned from the book? That's it for Rather now. Okay. And um, meanwhile, yes. because I've been doing all this, I am going to use my four experience to uh, increase my intellect to 21. Awesome. That's a huge intellect. Um, wow. That is. I thought it was a perfect timing with it. I was like, oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> That's great. Okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> Amelia, you're studying this other book? Uh, the Ether Lattice Manipulator Notes? Yeah. Yes. The equations and theory behind Ether Lattice Manipulation. Yes. Um, go ahead and give me a roll. Okay. This is like an intellect roll to see how much you can understand of these, of these notes. Okay. Uh, kind of like Pocket. You, you, you can't really make heads or tails of it. This is someone... It's basically like... Um, master's degree professorial research work level stuff that this guy has been working on for decades of his life. Um, and you can only begin comprehending the smallest portions of the equations listed here. Um, without the other books to cross-reference to, you actually don't even notice anything amiss. It okay. looks like he's totally, you know, he's, he's got his theories and, and they seem sound from, they seem internally consistent from looking over the equations yourself. Um, did you want to spend any XP over the, over the evening? Um, I actually did spend XP before the session began. Okay. Um, I just, I'll just announce it now, I guess. So I went yeah. and did four points. So my intellect 16, my speed's 12, and my might's 12. Awesome. Uh, Bleen. Hello. Are you, are you looking around Vex's room? Are there any All windows? Right. Yeah, there's one window just over the, the bed with a curtain drawn across it. Uh, if I open the window, what happens? Or not open the window, but like open the curtains. You, you, you sweep back the curtains and look outside. Um, and the sun is, is very nearly set under the horizon. Um, a very large, rotund red globe sinking uh, beneath the horizon of the earth. Um, the moon is starting to rise. And you can see sort of this this greenish, silvery light casting into the shadows that all of the uh, buildings are making in town. Um, you notice on the ledge of the windowsill next to the bed, there is a small glass pipe 
And the smell of cinnamon and burnt plastic is especially strong over here. Are we talking like like a bong or are we just talking about a pipe? It, it's a it, piece. It's a piece? Yeah. Uh, it's not a bong. But is, is there any way to light said piece? Um, there's nothing in it except for like crumbles of ash. But you, you could certainly try it. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so you, you just like hold it up and, and you, you rummage around. You find some sort of little lighter device that ejects flame from one side when you pull a trigger. Uh, and you just like light it up and inhale. Yep. Uh, give me a might defense roll. Can I just not? Uh, no, it's about like how 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 hard it affects you. Okay. Uh, that's a D twenty, right? Yeah. Two. Hey, um, you get a real good buzz, like okay. immediately, <laughs> and and all of a sudden, like as you you sort of collapse back onto Vex's bed, you see like golden lines start flowing through the air, flowing I, like, around you and going past one. you. Um, they are they are intangible, and your hand passes straight through them, and you start you start I seeing like look this. Look at the piece slowly and like put it away from me as I'm doing so. Yeah, uh, nothing strange happens as a result of doing that. Yeah. But um, there's definitely uh, this sort of like webbing all around you, and it's it's really quite gorgeous. Um. Yeah. Okay. And I think that, oh yeah, you rolled a two. You just sort of sink softly into unconsciousness on <laughs> Vex's bed. Okay. Uh, Pocket, did you want to do anything else this evening? Um, I, I'd like to, as the others are going through the books, I'd like to sort of use the knowledge that I've gained and uh, the book that I have to sort of cross-reference stuff and let them know what I found that's a little bit off and different, such as the equations being a little different and the maze being a little wacky and maybe how we could use our collective teamwork abilities to go through the maze together. Yeah. Um, are you all three together now, Pocket? Have you so gathered you wanna, the other two? You want to gather us in the middle For of the like night? For like a powwow? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to. Yes. Okay. Oh, Pocket, why do um, you wrestle me from the bed? <laughs> you were in here reading. We know you weren't sleeping. <laughs> Robot. And, now let's get. And let's go. Amelia. Yes. Would you make an intellect defense roll? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, just flipping through these books and showing you the maze, and again, you feel compelled by this maze. It's it's this really interesting and like it. It's got passages that go like above and under each other, and there's like little teleport spots, and you think you can see something about this maze, but um, but you can't quite get a grasp on it, and the maze sort of slips from your mind as you're as you're analyzing things this evening. Um, Pocket shows you a couple of places where the equations differ. Uh, he explains his theories regarding the inaccuracy of um, of Nicodemus's um, equations, but. Um, and, and he makes a good, he makes a strong case, right? Like he's absolutely right. There are sections of um, on the nature of memory that just don't line up with Nicodemus's own notes and theories. Um, and it, it even seems like uh, now that you're all together and you can put your heads together, it seems like the schematics for the device downstairs, like it seems like there's something missing from the schematics. It it doesn't seem like the device would work just as described in that uh, in that document. Uh, well, I, I mean, there's nothing that we could tell that was like, what would, like, what is missing? Um, what I think we can do here is that one of you can offer, or two of you can offer to help, and then one of you can try to comprehend the sort of data that you have before you, but it's quite challenging in order to... Uh, to derive the information from these sources. I'll if you spend two want to help me, yeah. If you two, if you two want to help me, I have deciphering and engineering. Okay, which I feel like I will help, help you, and I will spend effort in doing so. Yeah, okay. I can help too. Cool. Okay. Go ahead yeah. and uh, 
the two of like um, AAA and Amelia, go ahead and roll uh, intellect tasks. Let me. And uh, I'm down with spending some some edge. Efforts. I also am cool. Twelve. Okay. Oh God. Uh, so AAA, you spent effort. Yes. Um, do you have any sort of assets that would help you understand mathematics? I mean, I have Numenara skill, but that I don't works. know if that would help me. Yep, okay. I'll give you that, sure. Um, so yeah, you make it, actually. That reduces it by two to a difficulty class of two from four. Um, and you, Chomper comes over and he puts his head in your lap and he just goes... Rrr, 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 rrr. Aww. I give him a little... Yeah. Rub his ears, scratch him by the ears. So, um, Pocket, you have an asset and you have uh, training. So yes. you can choose to spend effort if you would like in order to try. Uh, and, and I have an edge in intellect. I'd like to do it all. I'd like yeah. to do everything. <laughs> edge edge oh, is the cost of spending effort, so you get that as a matter of course. Every, everything. Oh, man. Awesome. Pocket. I'm going to type this to you, and then uh, you can oh, decide. Uh-oh. You can decide oh, what you're going okay. to tell the other. <laughs> oh, juicy details! All right. Jesse got like way too excited about that. <laughs> I, I've never had anything like this happen before. I'm very excited. <laughs> this is this is this is. It's like we're passing notes. <laughs> it happens often. It's exciting. All right. Now it's up to you whether you share that information with us. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't keep us waiting. I'm wait. It's it's. I'm, I have that little pencil thingy. It's going pencil thingy, pencil thingy. It's he's typing. Oh, guys, this is we'll gonna be good. We just watch his facial expressions and try to figure out where, pencil thingy. where this is going. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you meant Jesse's. I was like Maggie. That's not actually him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about Steven, the one who's actually I know, typing. I know, I get it. I'm good. Oh, Jesse would give it away. Jesse's poker face is probably terrible. Uh, probably, yeah. Not right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jesse's poker face right now is perfect. Them sunglasses, <laughs> man. Just have to deal with it. So people are wondering about your just... tentacle sleeve, JP. What about it? Lean's tentacle sleeve. I don't know. They're asking about it in chat. What do they want to know about it? Is his tentacle sleeveless? Like your tentacle arm? Your, your no, no, tunic? I, I always wear it with sleeve on. Okay, so you just have like this long sleeve that's like going over your tentacle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't, he doesn't tailor his outfits to account for his arm, apparently. Correct. There you go. Your, your question is answered. Boom. Okay, so, wow, this is interesting. Um, oh God! Uh, so ba- basically, the uh, the equations don't describe uh, uh, this upload process that Nicodemus was talking about. So everything that he was talking about about how to like his his plans for immortality and all that, dude is way off. Um, the basic gist of this is is that. It's it's so you can uh, it, it's not upload it's download. So that's where he is wrong. And my big oh. fear here, guys, is that something awful will be downloaded into Nicodemus if we try to mess with it. And I'd rather we not. <laughs> I'd rather be very upfront with you guys about the process here because I feel like we're gonna get screwed. <laughs> I'm not keeping that information to myself. So, yeah. Wait, you, that's... Did you tell us about the downloading portion? Yes. I've told you. Yes. I'm I'm letting you know exactly this. It is it is not about there uh, is no upload process. Pocket, it is a download. Do you and I have anything to be concerned about? Th- that's uh, and that's that's uh, actually one of the things that I am really concerned about because I don't know yeah, what just happened with that <laughs> <laughs> what just happened with that machine? Because I feel like if we were to try it again, would Renton be in his body again? Question mark. And would my mom be in me? Question mark. Let's not have that happen. Because that's really weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so yes. the the Very schematics for the device that he was built 
that he has built. It's just a communication device. There's no uploading. There's no downloading. Oh, okay. There's no transferring okay. of information. It's, it's the only thing that communication. Chris, Christos is working on. Yeah, it's it's a similar subject. Uh, it touches many of the same theories, but it's not the artifact itself. Um, would you all mark down one XP? Actually, no, two XP uh -oh. for discovering this, for making this discovery. Yay. Yay. Oh, except for me or? Oh, no, you two. Oh, yeah. So it's You discovered not, a really good trip. We yeah. What we used was what was actually it was intended for we what yeah. Hawkers That's told us we realized device. that like this device is actually bad news but different from the ether lattice I think what we need to do is when we talk to Christos get some right. information from him find out who his test subjects have been so far what they're doing where they where they're located I mean this is because because here's here's the yeah because what it sounds like at least to me is it it isn't like I think all their plans is they're gonna, you know, they want to upload memory and, and live forever. But yeah. This is the download. The question is, where is it downloading from, and who is there to download? Like that's the the problem that I have. Right. Because you can't. Right. It, it's not saying that it can pull things from. Like it's not gonna bring back Renton if Renton's dead. It's just but saying that. But it could bring back knowledge that Renton knows about. Do we know that? Like I don't think we know. We know. I, this could we just don't be. We don't know anything. If anything, this could be someone who, who uploaded him or herself a long time ago and now is like, put all this stuff out there like, hey, in the future, download me into your body. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, idiots. And I, I feel like that could be an issue. So just something to think about. For sure. Hmm. Well, we definitely so. need to get gather more information on this device and what subjects if any have been used to test it right perhaps yep. you'd like to join us in the morning pocket we will be going to talk to christos one of the aeon priests at the and, communication panel uh be before we before we go i uh, uh, I, I acknowledge i say i'll see you in the morning triple a but i go up to amelia and i simply just uh, uh offer this little tidbit which is all this sounds very, very similar to the to the artifact that you touched or Renton touched and how somehow you ended up in him. I can't help but think that this is something in the same nature. And it would be it would behoove us if we could find the artifact that you had before, because that might help us in some way if you know mm -hmm. anything about it now's the time to to let us know where was the last because time you saw that device? it was it was gone when we you went back when we awoke no it, oh. i mean we so when after we touched the artifact and woke however long later it was i still have no idea how much time passed the the device was gone as far as we know um was there anyone with you prior to to that and then when you woke up they weren't there no but the only person that we know that knew the location was Daisuke. Do you know how to contact Daisuke now? I do not. Do you know perhaps someone who might be willing to provide us information? I want to say that I learned a lead in the last session. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. But I am now drawing a freaking blank. Mm. Uh, perhaps when you can remember that information, it would be very, very helpful for us. Mm. Yes, perhaps. <laughs> I I am not sure. I I feel like uh, Renton told us something. About it's been Jason. a long day. Maybe it's time for a nice rest. Yeah, Maybe. no, I could use I could use that HP. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all could. I'm so beat up. Yeah. Time to all sleep. right. Um. So I think each of you get back 3d6 plus 3 uh, HP, because I think each of you took one rest Everyone um, while you were down there. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the okay. roll? 3d6? 3d6 plus 3. 13. I don't think awesome. I'm full. 13, 14, 15. Not bad. I'm at 5 might. Cool. 
Um, all right. So, um, Blaine. Yep. That's me. You wake up in the morning. You have a killer headache. What? Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> Do I know your what I smoked? Is, your head is pounding. Um, and your mouth is a little cottony. And uh, the light from the sun is just like beaming in through the window, like stabbing your eyes. Ah. Okay. Um, and you hear you hear the door creak. Uh, is the pipe still in my hand? Um, no, it's fallen between the bed and the wall. Oh, uh, JP, you need to add three. Oh, oh, okay, sixteen. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I have eight my... Um, I just kind of act asleep. <laughs> I okay. just shut my eyes and, like, tilt my head back. Um, Vex says to you, Blaine, <laughs> get off of my bed, boy. <laughs> um... Yeah, I get, I get up. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like open one eye, and I'm just. Vex like, is standing there. He's got like two or three days worth of stubble. He's got like dark, dark bags under his eyes. Um, he's holding his head like this. He's clearly in a lot of pain. He says, "Son, shut that curtain." Uh, I go over and shut the curtain. Um, he comes over and he just like sits down on the bed next to you. He says. Blaine, you have to go back to to your new master. A new master, Nathan Nathan Amos. Uh, <laughs> the redheads, uh, they they're gonna target oh, him. God. They're gonna take him out because of what he did to the boys that they sent the other day. Uh, the redheads have some new, some new cipher, Blaine. It's, I ain't seen nothing like it. It's real bad. They got Wilbur, Blaine. Do you oh, remember Wilbur? I don't. Wilbur was the fat portly man in the guard tower at the front of town when you came in. You had that blunderbuss. Oh, Wilbur. Oh, okay. Oh. Do I, do I care about Wilbur? Like, uh... Wow. Do you tell me? Do you care about wow. Wilbur? I, I no. I, I ask. I ask Matt. I'm. This is in character. I'm just like. Do, oh, okay. Do I care about Wilbur, Master Vex? Vex just sort of like takes his hand away for a second and stares. <laughs> at you. Do you, Matt? Do you Matt, care? Matt, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt. These people that I'm with are just fucking crazy. They've been talking about immortality and. All this fucking nonsense, and I'm just tired of listening to it. That's all they talk about. One guy talked to his dead mom. I don't know. It happened. I was there. Another guy talked to some. I, I don't. I don't know. It's it's fucking weird. This whole sh it's fucking. It's all weird. It's all fucked. Also, what uh, what did I I smoked your pipe? What was in that, sir? You smoked my pipe. <laughs> yeah. What. I'd like some of that. That was great. Billion, you stay away from that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Oh boy, uh, all right, I guess so. I guess I will. Um, that's that's bad for you. Uh, I mean, it seemed pretty headache. great at the time. I think I want it. Cotton mouth. <laughs> you listen to me, boy. Data Glenn is no joke. You need to. You need to go. I need to get some sleep. Uh, so you want me to you want me to protect this Wilbur fellow? Is that is that the goal? No, uh, God, I'm getting all turned around. Where have you Wilbur. been? Why were you not in your room last night? I came here to to talk with you, and you weren't here. Blean, I've been writing the Glen for months now. God damn it! <laughs> your like, master's a druggie. Uh, I'm trying to. I guess being in prison, I would probably know people that have kicked the habit or something, right? Uh, you've never heard of Data Glenn before, but you do you have known of people who've been addicted to various drugs and have kicked the habit, yeah. Uh, I, I tell him... I don't know. 
I guess I tell him some way to like wean off of a drug or wean off of an addiction. Yeah, I mean, like you could totally be like, just say no, quit cold turkey. Uh, you know, I've heard about just these new. Say no. I've heard about these new e vaporizers that uh, are a lot more helpful <laughs> for you. No, no. I, instead of instead of getting him to stop, I, I just asked, do, "Do you have any more?" Uh, he uh, sort of looks at you, and he 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 reaches his hand in his shirt pocket, and he unrolls like a white paper strip that has like a couple of small golden rocks, and he says, "Yeah." I look down at that and I, I look him in the face. I look back down at it and I try to snatch it as fast as possible with my right hand. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a might attack. Okay. Uh, I would like to use edge as well. Okay. And so that costs me, if I have one edge, that costs me two, right? Two might? Yeah. That's two, six. Okay. There's, there's nothing I want more 14. than for our strongest fighter to become a druggie. Yeah, it's going to be not good. Yeah, um, you just like snatch it straight out of his hand. He barely even moves. Okay, I, I open the window and, he, and just throw it out the window. He sort of looks at you and he looks out the window. And then he just like slams his fist into your jaw. <laughs> Can I make um, a dodge? Yeah, absolutely. Is speed that a speed? Defense? Yeah. Uh, I'd like Here to also comes. use edge there. Cool. Nice. Not what I was expecting, but Here awesome. Here Got to see this roll. 10. Yeah, you just like sit backwards a little bit and his fist just goes like flying across you and he just like lands in your lap and then he just starts crying. <laughs> uh, I ask, I'm like, Vex, is there any more? Um, he, he, he stops crying and he dries his tears and wipes the snot away from his nose and he says that cost me 50 shins I don't have any more shins I'm out <laughs> I'm tapped out Bleen we Can need I... to go back to the redheads the redheads have more the redheads have they own the data glen they own it all they've, they've got it all they've got manufacturing set up we need, we need to go we need to go can I make a be... uh, intelligence wait. check wait oh. Bleen yeah, uh, what are you trying to do with this? See if he's lying to me and see if he has any more. Yeah, go ahead. I won't use edge because I can't use edge. <laughs> I rolled a one. Um, yeah, he's lying. Nice. <laughs> he's straight up lying. Yep, he's straight up lying to your face. Uh, and, and then he, he like he like reaches up to your shirt and he grabs you on the front of your shirt and he says, Blaine, Blaine, listen to me, Blaine. You have to get... Get Nicodemus and bring him to the redheads. They will kill him, and then they'll give us all the glen we want, Blaine. You've tried it. You've seen it. You've seen the data skeins through the air. You've seen the beauty. You know what it can do for you. Steven, in, in, you have to tell me this because I don't know, but I would understand that. I would think that as a follower or student of Cthulhu, if this would be down mm -hmm or frowned upon if i just kill vex right now would i be looked at as like the proper way to do something in this religion or this sect what? Uh, or is it, is it like is it looked down upon now from what wow. i remember when we first i forgot i remember era. we were peaceful yeah i think that like cthulhu was your outlet from being in prison to like moving away from the life of crime. Okay. So I would say that Cthulhu Probably be against it, right? Yeah. Cthulhu tells you not to use Cthulhu for murder, but maybe maybe there's a part of Bleen, that old criminal part of Bleen that says this is the right thing to do. That when a man is when a man is past his prime, you you don't fuck around. You just put him down. What uh all right. How how about uh, he's just crying and looking up at me? Yeah, he's he's like grabbing on your shirt and like he's like, we need to take Nicodemus to the redhead so they can yeah, kill yeah, yeah, him yeah, yeah. so that we can get data. I, I like look pop, pop my head out the door. Do I see anyone walking by? No, because there's like a it's like a spiral staircase immediately sure. out of the door. 
down is, to the next level. And there's like, you don't even hear any sounds. Sounds like all the students from last night have gone home. It is, uh, is Master Vex like the top of the food chain here? Yep. Jesus. Um, who's second in command? Uh, he's probably got a, a student who's like his, um, you know, sensei in training or something like that. Yeah. I just had a, an image pop into my head. Like I'm going to turn into the, the evil clan from the karate kid. What were, what were they called? I don't remember. What? Their, their, Cobra their, Kai? Remember. Was that Cobra oh. Kai? It's Cobra Kai. So. Yeah. Then we're going to turn this into Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 I tell him like, look, you should, you should really go, uh, just go steam or go in the steam room for a bit and get off this shit. Kick the habit for for the afternoon or for the evening. Um, he he nods and and he just sort of like stumbles out of the room in the direction of the steam room. Uh, and he stops at the door. He turns around. He says, "The redheads, Blaine. They've got some new cipher. It leaves a a burning frozen lash across the front of your body, and and it just sucks all the life straight out of you." That's how they got Wilbur. You need to be careful, Blaine. I thought I was supposed to... Wilbur's dead? Your your stories are... Is he dead? Yes. Vex? Yes, Blaine. Yes, Wilbur is dead. Okay. He died last night sometime. They found him this morning outside of his post. He's dead. Okay. Dead as a doornail. Okay. I'll, all right. I'll join you and we can we can discuss things briefly before I return to the uh, the group. In the, uh, I'll join you in the, the steam room in a second. Okay. As he walks uh, off, I just go back into his room and tear everything, looking for more drugs. Okay. You you perform a thorough search. There's no more drugs. The pipe is completely burnt out. Okay. Um, I like. He uh, doesn't even. He doesn't even have a lot of stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. I, I take the pipe, like stick it out the window, crack it in half, and then just like toss it down. All right. Yep. Yeah, it shatters on the pavement far, far below. Uh, why don't we take a three-minute break? Yay. And when we come back, we can find out what the others have been up to this fine, beautiful morning. Sounds good. Gosh, we'll yeah. see you guys in three minutes with some more roleplay R&D. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.